Hi, it's Malt, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this. This is a four-way T flip-flop design that I have built myself, and it is very small, and despite all this redstone on the side, the actual design is only one wide. It's just this line here. So, before we crack on with the tutorial, I'll just show you how it works. So, as you can see, this glowstone lamp is selected, but when I press this button, it'll change to that one, and then I press it again, it goes to that one, I press it again, and it goes to that one. So, now I'm going to be showing you how to build this. To start off with, um, you're going to want to get your block, and place it right where you want your button to be and just place your button down there now what you're gonna do, you're gonna add a redstone torch to the back side and a block there with a repeater there what you're now gonna do is get two of these and place a block here just so you can put your hopper facing in this direction then just have a few of these so you can put your items down and have dropper pointing in that direction another hopper and a dropper facing down and a dropper facing that way and also another dropper facing down. So what you're now going to want to do is just place two hoppers like this facing into this block and that is almost it. What you want to do now is bring this up. You just want to place that there, there and then a line of redstone all along here. and also a line here and it should be powered as you can see there now this is done so you just want to place an item there and we'll just get a few comparators going to show you the outputs so one's there one is I believe on the top yes it's there so you can just bring the um, signal out and redstone comparator there it's not currently got an item in it so it won't be powered the next output is on this hopper so over here and if you place a comparator there, that'll work. And the last output is on the bottom hopper right here. If I can get to it. Oh well. It's right here, but that's placed in the wrong direction. So I'll just place a block there and that'll be fine. Now, as you see, when we press this button, when we press this button, the item travels up to here and turns on this comparator. And if we keep doing that, all the comparators will light up in sequence, and that will be good. Now, ah, oh, sorry, made a mistake it actually goes to here I think so be sure to subscribe if you like this and uh, rate it also it's always uh, nice getting your support I'm Malt and this has been today's tutorial bye bye